Hey everyone, as I've recently shared, hiring has been strong in 2021. Through October, the US has added 5.8 million jobs, already a record year. All that hiring has helped backfill the economy and ultimately commercial real estate space demand. We lost 22.4 million jobs at the outset of the pandemic. So far, we've recovered 18.2 million positions, a recovery of about 80%. Net-net, the total U.S. employment is still about 2.8% below pre-pandemic levels. Of course, not every city in the country is 2.8% below where they started. The jobs recovery has definitely been uneven, varying significantly by metro. Five metropolitan areas across the U.S. have fully recovered. Conversely, numerous markets still lag the national average. I need to point out, whether a city is ahead or behind the employment curve has a meaningful impact on short-term commercial real estate performance, but there are opportunities at both ends of the spectrum. The metro still fighting to ramp their employment back up tend to be high density cities that had particularly strict COVID protocols. Cities with an outsized reliance on tourism are also lagging. The metro furthest behind the curve is New York City. They lost almost 960,000 jobs to the health crisis, and while they've recovered more than half of those positions, they're still 10.1% below pre-pandemic employment levels. Over the last six months, New York City has averaged about 16,000 job additions per month. The vacation destination of Las Vegas is the second furthest behind its pre-pandemic employment, down 7.5%. But the metro has recovered 72% of the 280,000 lost positions and is adding back 8,000 jobs per month. LA is next in line. With employment 7.4% below pre-pandemic levels, the metro lost 770,000 jobs, but they've recovered 56% and they're adding back about 25,000 jobs each month. Another vacation destination, Orlando, is the market with the fourth most ground to recover. Thus far, the area has regained 65% of the 255,000 lost jobs and they're adding 11,000 jobs per month. And the Bay Area comes in fifth. The region is 6.6% .6 below pre-recession employment levels and has recovered 56% of the 537,000 jobs lost at the onset of the pandemic. Over the last six months, the Bay Area has added an average of about 15,500 jobs each month. With vaccines in place and government restrictions and hard-hit metros loosening up, lagging cities should gain momentum and offer unique recovery investment opportunities, especially in harder hit property types. Now I'm going to focus on the five metros that have already fully recovered. They now have more jobs than they did before the pandemic and offer investors momentum opportunities, a chance to ride a wave of growth. The market in fifth place is Phoenix, which lost about 245,000 jobs. This metro now has 14,000 more jobs than before the pandemic, a 0.6% gain. Number four is Tampa, which lost 172,000 positions and now has 12,000 more jobs than it had pre-health crisis, a 0.8% gain. Coming in third is Jacksonville, where 82,000 jobs were lost. This area now employs about 8,000 more people than it did in February last year, a gain of 1.1%. The second strongest recovery market is Austin. This metro lost 142,000 jobs to the pandemic, but now has 24,000 more jobs than before the health crisis, up 2.1%. And the strongest employment market since the onset of the pandemic is Salt Lake City. This area lost 110,000 jobs, but now has 45,000 more people working than before the pandemic. That's a gain of 3.4% employment. Most of the commercial real estate in these five leading markets has already recovered and has been posting strong growth, both in terms of space demand and pricing. These cities have momentum and a positive outlook for 2022. The contrast between the five metros leading the employment curve and the five metros with the most jobs to recover is stark. But both ends of the spectrum and every city in between 
offers a unique mix of commercial real estate investment opportunities. There are still some speed bumps ahead, the labor shortage, the supply chain problems, inflation and rising interest rates. But despite all of this, the commercial real estate outlook for 2022 remains positive. Whether you invest in a market that's ahead of the employment curve or behind it, there are always opportunities. You can focus on recovery strategies, momentum strategies, or something else as long as you keep your eyes on the horizon.